So for two years, some neighbors in a small Utah County town have been stuck with dangerous drinking water. This specialist Nicole Val joins us now after searching for answers for these families held up in Utah's longest boil order ever. Nicole, I can't imagine boiling your water for two years. No, it's tough to imagine. July 28th, 2015. That is when this mandatory boil, boil order was issued. Since then, nothing has changed. So I went to Goshen to find out why it's taking so long to fix the problem. Less than a thousand people call the small town of Goshen home. Norman and Julie Thomas included. Yeah, Norman's a transplant, but I've been here forever. And like the majority of the people who live here, Goshen water is Goshen water. The water coming from their taps. You have to sort of acquire a taste for it, but it's good. I like it. Is just fine. I've been here for 50 years, so it ain't killed me yet. <laughs> Lucky for them, they live on the right side of the town. No, I'm happy I live on this side of it. I'm happy I live down here. Happy because just up the hill. They don't care down in town, it don't seem like. Folks like Richard Wolf don't have the same luxury. What can we do other than boil the water and keep going like we're doing? Wolf is one of five homeowners in Goshen that have been on a boil water advisory for a very long time. I was here two yeah. years ago. Since then, what has changed? Nothing. Nothing has changed. You know, some residents in Goshen received this notice from the city saying their water has been tainted with E. coli. Back in 2015, I spoke with Wolf and his elderly mother. Tell me how, how your life's been for the last three and a half months. Hell, I'm thoroughly disgusted. This past May, 84-year-old Bethia Wolf died of cancer. How do you feel about your mom having to deal with all this right before, up until the day she passed away? It hurts. Uh, because... You know, she's the one that never complained. After two full years of dealing with dangerous drinking water, Wolf says it seems like the five families up the hill have been ignored. <laughs> like I say, we're out of sight, out of mind. They don't care about us up here, really. Or they'd had something done quicker. So I had some questions for the mayor. You gave Mayor Jensen the message that I called him? And since he's a hard man to get a hold of. So he's going to call me? Uh -huh. Okay. Mayor Jensen? I ended up finding him. Yeah. Hi, how are you? At home. You? Doing all right. My name's Nicole, KSL 5 News. How you doing? When is this going to be fixed? Hey, if I knew that, I'd be heaven, wouldn't I? For nearly half an hour, I talked with Mayor Fred Jensen. <laughs> ought to be happy that they've got water. He laughed about the situation. He blamed the state. If the state board of health is mad at me for what I say to you, That'll be a big delay. He blamed the media. Every time we about get something done, somebody brings the media in, and then that puts us off. He even blamed the residents. The people themselves is causing the delay, a lot of it. And then this. You don't have to supply them the drinking water? We do not have to supply it up there, no. By law, we don't have to supply them with it. The way Mayor Jensen sees it. But the water is clean and fit to use if they boil. He doesn't have to give the hill dwellers water at all. We do not have to furnish them water. We're doing that to be good. But Utah's Department of Environmental Quality. Our perception is that those homes are customers of Goshen and they deserve clean drinking water. Sees things much differently. It is detrimental to their well-being to have to be on a boil order for that one. Maria Owens with the DEQ says since 2015, water samples from this spring have come back contaminated, infested with rat waste, fecal chloroform, and E. coli. And to fix that, Goshen officials need to fund and install a water chlorination system. According to the DEQ, it took Goshen officials nine months to submit an initial plan to the state. That plan fell short. The spring still tested positive for E. coli. In June of 2016, a different plan was submitted, and that didn't work either. 
And on July 21st, 2017, two days after my interview with Mayor Jensen, the state received a third plan. They keep trying the cheapest way to resolve the problem, um, to be fiscally responsible to their residents, but it's not resolving the problem. After 24 months, the DEQ points to politics, penny pinching and procrastination. Owen says they just need to move forward with a feasible fix. So at this point, they have approval from us to proceed with their plans. They just need to actually proceed with their plans. But money has never really been the problem. According to this award letter from the U.S. Department of Housing and Development dated March 19, 2015, a grant was given to the town of Goshen for $125,000 for an infrastructure waterline upgrade for full months before the boil order was even issued. Money, the mayor tells me. We have got enough money to proceed with it. Money allocated to install a chlorination system. How much money is it going to cost to put a chlorinator up there with everything included? We're hoping it's under 100000 Money, the issuer of the grant tells me, has not been touched. Chlorination's just a poison anyway. It's <laughs> it seems like Mayor Jensen is in no rush to make any repairs. And to top it all off... You guys need a bottle of water, you can grab one. <laughs> the bottled water the town council voted to provide in the meantime was cut off. You think it's not right? No, it's not. The mayor's reason... They was being mean with us. Okay. Paybacks is a son of a bugger. <laughs> An all-out water war. It don't take two years to test the water and get a system put in. A war some Goshen residents didn't live long enough to see resolved. A boiling battle for a basic resource. Hopefully they'll get it took care of soon, but when, I don't know. Families on both sides of this tiny town. I wish we could do something to get them good water. Are still waiting to see fixed. I don't know, just when a, one person can take into their own hands lives of other families up here, that's not right. August 1st, that's tomorrow. That's when Mayor Jensen told me construction on a chlorinator would begin. However, this week I got word from the DEQ they actually kicked back that third plan Goshen submitted. They're not really sure that will work. And they tell me even if it does work, they won't be able to collect, to collect good water samples until next year's spring runoff season, which means, sadly, guys, this boil water order is not going anywhere anytime soon. I hate to even say that. Yeah, what a disappointment for those families. It's, it's, very, it's a very sad situation. Okay. Definitely. All right. Great report, Nicole. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.